Welcome, my lord, to the new world. Before us lies Alfwand, home of the High Elves. At its center, at the very Isle of the Dead, the great vortex surges and swirls. Forged by the High Elves in ages past to siphon the winds of magic and defeat the chaos invasion that threatened to engulf the world. As the fork-tongued comet of Sotek made its recent passage across the heavens, it breached the Great Warding, making it dangerously unstable. There are those who would unbind the Vortex and exploit its wild energies. Still others seek to heal the Cyclone and preserve the Order. Each race must perform a series of arcane rituals, both to decide the fate of the Vortex and prevent the other races from achieving victory. Let us take a closer look at the High Elves. Led by Prince Tyrion, they are a proud, arrogant, and highly developed people, combining peerless martial prowess with an uncommon grasp of the magical arts. The High Elves are in love with politics, and the most successful elven leaders use their influence to court the most powerful generals and meddle in the affairs of other, lesser races. The High Elves are also master traders and exploit their contact to gain valuable intelligence on the affairs of their trading partners. To the north of Althuan lie vast, near unassailable fortress gates, guarding the outer reaches of the elven homelands. It would take a formidable force indeed to breach these ramparts. And now, the elves have enacted a ritual. This puts them one step closer to stabilizing the vortex and achieving their ultimate victory. With continents separated by mighty oceans, your forces may have to embark on perilous journeys to reach foreign soil, risking encounters with deadly storms. Even skirting the coastlines can pose a threat as treacherous reefs and shallows take their toll on the drafts of your transport ships. Here in Lustria, certain races of the old world have gained footholds. Will you put their outposts to the sword, or make allies of these adventurers, securing their loyalty for the challenges to come? Across the landscape lie the ruins of ancient cities. You may choose to erect new settlements in their place, or instead delve them for hidden riches and lost magical artifacts. Dangers may lurk in the depths, however. Be ever watchful, for rogue armies roam these lands. Composed of warriors from many races, they lay aside their former animosities and band together in the pursuit of riches and power. Not all legendary lords campaign within their homelands. The High Elf Archmage Teclis begins here on the Turtle Isles, deep in Lizardman country. He faces a wholly different set of challenges from his brother Tyrion in Althuan. Lustria's jungles are the domain of the lizard men and their fearsome saurian beasts. The slan mage priests rule over this place, directing the lizard men according to the great plan decreed by the old ones. They too seek to preserve the vortex and prevent calamity. The geomantic web, ancient lines of power connecting the great temple cities, lies in disarray. Should the lizard men revitalize these strands, their efforts to enact the great plan will be much enhanced. And here we see Lord Mazda Mundi, mightiest of the living slan. He and his army have adopted the astromancy stance, granting them unmatched insight into their surroundings. Finally, let us join the legendary Saurus warrior Krokgar and his lizard men cohorts as they prepare to do battle with a high elf force at the ancient portal of the Fallen Gates.
Yeah. <laughs>